Any one of you who's been aware of me for more than five minutes knows that I have talked about practice and, yes, even literally sung the praises of corporal punishment. That's whooping spankings. Uh, I've done it in studio right here. I've done it abroad. You might be familiar with my delightful little song called Beat That Ass. I've sung it all over the world. It's a hard-hitting masterpiece if there ever was one. I have been and always shall be full-throated on the notion that to spare the rod is to spoil the child if they don't think twice the next time they want to do something. Uh, then you did it wrong the first time. You got to whoop that ass. You know what I'm talking about. But even I have limits. Picture, if you can, uh, stomach it. Uh, the spectacle of a principal dragging a special needs child by his ankles 500 feet down a hallway after he failed to comply with a request to get out of his seat. Um, that's your warm welcome to Walter Hill Elementary School in Tennessee and your introduction to Principal Helen Campbell, who currently stands to lose her job depending on the eventual ruling of the school board. And while the child only sustained minor injuries, I mean only, you shouldn't have sustained any, uh, that's what happens when you're used to you know buff the floor for 500 feet. You're going to sustain some injuries. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the controversial position here of agreeing with those who level the charges at her that she should be fired and they must really like her at that school because currently the school board can't seem to make up its mind about whether or not to do so. Now let's get a couple of things straight here. One, the child was not harming himself nor was he attempting to harm anyone else. You throw something like that in the mix and I say drag the kid all the way to the police station if you have to. Two, this was a special needs kid, all right? Now I'm not saying everyone who rides on you know, that particular spectrum of, of existence, uh, it, 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 it doesn't mean they're all on equal footing or, or should get special treatment. But I do know that lots of kids with things like autism do not understand social cues the way the rest of us do and do not respond to corporal punishment the way that neurotypical kids probably would. Also, you just don't drag a kid, you know, several hundred feet down a hallway, period. You don't do it. I mean, at a certain point, context ceases to matter because you've fallen so far outside the scope of a normal and healthy response to a kid being a shithead, you're just wrong ipso facto. You know, I'd rather be inter I'd, I'd be interested to hear what the teacher worshiping lefties out there think about this. And again, I respect the office of the teacher. I think when you're doing it right, you're doing God's work educating our kids. But I also know a lot of them don't do it right. We've continually pointed that out on this show. Um, so I don't fall in that category of just giving everybody a, you know, a carte blanche free you know, get out of jail, free card, whatever. So I want to know what you purple hairs think about it. I know this woman was a principal and not a teacher and so probably falls under your definition of the typical patriarchal white male position rather than that of a poorly paid and overworked teacher slash saint. But hey, this principal identifies as a woman, I think. So how about it? What's your opinion? Look, folks, show me a video of a teacher meeting out well-deserved discipline to an unruly punk and I'm all on board. I'll bring the popcorn. It'll be weird, but we'll celebrate together the doing of justice in the school system. But for goodness sakes, can we maybe not try to overcompensate for failing education by committing actual child abuse, especially when it comes to a special needs kid? I'd feel a lot better if you just kind of chill, folks.